Hey, hello again, do-it-yourselfers, uh, C4 Corvette fan here. Uh, 90 on the top, uh, 180,000 miles, never going to be worth much. Uh, convertible, 6-speed, lots of fun to drive. Bottom, 89 uh, convertible, 6-speed. It's only got about uh, 46,000 miles on it. Unfortunately, had some issues with uh, sitting for 10 years uh, in the previous owner's garage, so replaced the uh, fuel system and a few other things. And uh, last but not least... Going to go ahead and replace the uh, brake light switch. I uh, think it was having some issues. It's an easy fix. Found one on uh, eBay for about uh, $5.95. Uh, shipped it to me in a couple of days. So, get started. First thing, I uh, need access to the brake pedal. So, we took the cover off. You can see uh, three screws one, two, and there would be a third one there. That was uh, pulled off at some point obviously in the past. There's your uh, courtesy light. You can see the connector uh, basically just squeeze and uh, kind of rock it back and get them out. And on the 84 through 89 again uh, there's a, uh, a bolt that sticks down through the uh, this particular piece of a uh, trim and you uh, have a little press on fitting that basically holds it in place. That was probably the most difficult thing. Uh, just grab a pair of needle nose pliers and kind of uh, walk it off. Anyway, that is now out of the way, and we do have access to the under the uh, steering wheel compartment. All right, if you're uh, fairly large like I am, you might be a little claustrophobic, but it's certainly something that's doable. Take a look at the new switch. Fully extended. The uh, lights will be on. Depressed. Lights uh, should be off. This will basically go through a mount and rest up against a plate that's on the brake pedal. You've got uh, two connectors. This big one here is for the four main stop lights. This one on the end here is for what they call the CMHSL. I believe that's a center mounted uh, high stop light. Uh, one switch, two connectors. And again, uh, this will basically, you can see it's uh, ribbed. It'll go through amount and uh, should be done. The uh, only real difficulty I had uh, getting the thing off was pulling the connectors and we'll take a look at them now. Uh, I've got them down for easy access. These are the ones for the uh, four brake lights. You can see this little tab here is what you need to depress and uh, I essentially uh, had to put a screwdriver up against this as I wiggled it out. This was by far the most difficult. This one here, uh, a little bit simpler. Again, just a little tab and you squeeze it and pull and you're in good shape. Uh, here in a second we'll go ahead and um, mount these both to the switch and double check that all the brake lights are working since the uh, plunger is completely down. And at that point, if everything's working well, uh, we will reinstall the switch, adjust it, and we should be done except for the cleanup items. Okay, uh, part two. We have installed the connectors on the switch. Again, the CMHSL and the four main brake lights. Um, because of the shape of the switches and everything, it's fairly self explanatory which way they go in. Much easier to put them in than to uh, take them out. So everything's uh, installed and the plunger is fully out, so the brake light should be working. Uh, take a look, and all four are in fact burning, so we're in good shape. Uh, step three, go ahead and do the reinstall, and that should be it. Okay, step three, reinstalling the switch. Just finished doing that. Take a look at it here, up and under. I can get this stupid thing to focus. All right, there's a switch installed. A little tough to see the mount, but there it is. You can see I went ahead and put it all the way flush. Uh, that means you'll probably need about uh, half an inch of brake travel before your brake lights actually come on. Some guys may want to uh, pull it out just a couple more clicks. 
so that uh, if somebody's tailgating you, you can just tap the brakes without actually uh, actuating the brakes. You can get the brake lights to come on. Um, I don't think that's really all that much of a player these days, but that's what it looks like installed. Just got one more connector to install uh, that was kind of in the way of uh, me getting a good photo of it, but there it is. As I said, a little bit of a tight fit, but you can certainly do it. Um, you don't need to remove the seat. Uh, just uh, put the seat all the way back, run the uh, tilt wheel all the way up, and even a guy like me who uh, is well over 250 can go ahead and get in there and do the job. And we can see now that the switch is fully depressed, go to the back here, and the brake lights are in fact not on. So that's basically it as far as uh, replacing that brake switch on the uh, C4 Corvette. Just pay attention to those connectors, know what you have to push or pull on uh, to get them to release. Otherwise, fairly straightforward. Good luck and uh, happy motoring.